everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Ashley and I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom. Um, so today's Vlogmas, we are going to be continuing our homeschool Vlogmas series. Um, so I have one that is preschool, kindergarten aged, and she absolutely loves Play-Doh. So today I'm going to be making Christmas scented Play-Dohs from scratch. Um, Play-Doh from scratch is actually not that hard. Um, it's a little bit more time consuming than just, you know, picking it up from Walmart or wherever you shop, but it's a thousand percent worth it, especially if you have little ones that like to put things in their mouth. Um, this is a thousand percent safe for tasting. They're probably not going to like it because it's literally like flour and salt and stuff, but it is safe um, compared to commercialized Play-Doh that may have ingredients that we don't necessarily want babies ingesting. So um, all of these are going to have completely taste safe ingredients. Again, it's probably not going to taste that great, but it is safe. Um, now this is a no cook recipe there is play-doh that you actually would have to cook on the stove top um but this one is a no cook it's just a mix and go and i'm going to be adding in different smells that are associated with christmas so we're going to be doing a vanilla play-doh we're going to be doing a cinnamon play-doh and we're going to be doing a peppermint play-doh um those are just some smells that i personally associate with christmas and yeah so Yay. Let's get this one started. Okay guys, pretty simple, but this is everything you're going to need. So you're going to need four cups of flour, a cup and a half of salt, three tablespoons of oil, it can be any type, I just, I only have olive oil. And then you're going to need a food coloring. So I have this assorted box. I'm going to do the red one for the cinnamon, the yellow one for the vanilla or sugar cookie, and then the green one for the peppermint. Um, and then over here are my scents. So I just have some ground cinnamon, some peppermint extract, and some vanilla. Pretty simple. And so we're going to get this mixed together and I'll show you how. All right, y'all. So the first step for this is you're going to get a very large bowl and you're going to mix four cups of flour with one and a half cup of salt. Um, you're just going to mix that thoroughly. And then all of your wet ingredients, you're going to be mixing separately into smaller bowls and then you're just going to disperse this flour and salt mixture into each different bowl. So for the wet ingredients you're just going to need a half of a cup of warm water a half of a tablespoon of oil and then you're going to at this point mix in your food coloring and whatever scent you're using for that color and you don't have to mix that through you just add in your flour and salt mixture and then you start mixing it until you get a thick super thick dough um, you may have to add in more flour as you go but i start with a cup and see how that goes and then as you see, I'm just adding in a scoop to thicken it up. So now that that mixture is thickened, I'm just flouring a surface and pouring that mixture onto that. And I'm just gonna knead that through until everything is fully mixed together and the dough is not sticky like stick to my hand sticky but it's still moist enough to properly play with just like a regular play-doh would be so after that was mixed through i just added that to a ziploc and put it to the side and i'm getting started on my next one so the one that i just did was the cinnamon and we did the red food coloring this one is peppermint and I'm doing the green food coloring and I'm just going to be repeating the process just like I did for the first one with each color.
Now this is how your Play-Doh should look. I store these in Ziploc baggies. You can also use Tupperware containers, but of course I have no tops for any of my Tupperware containers in this house. And that's not changing anytime soon, to be honest. So yeah, I just store them in Ziploc bags. All right, so our Play-Doh is all done. So this one, is supposed to smell like sugar cookies. Um, vanilla is kind of hard to work with, so I had to put in extra vanilla. This one smells like peppermint, peppermint. and this one just smells like cinnamon. It mm -hmm. smells really Christmassy for whatever reason. So that is their Christmas themed Play Doh. Are you yeah. happy? You like it? Yeah! All right, and if you have like cookie cutters, you can definitely give that to them, but I like for her. To use her imagination so she's going to use Cut. plastic knives and forks to just kind of play okay everybody so I hope you guys enjoyed that video the kids are busy playing um, they're having the time of their life like I said this is really great if you have little kids that um put things in their mouths um, mine don't necessarily do that I don't think I hope not at these ages but I don't put it past they're a little bit weird. Kids are weird. So anyways, um, like I said, you can definitely give them cookie cutters, especially the Christmas themed cookie cutters to play with. Um, another option for smells and colors, if you have like a brown food coloring and you have ground ginger mixed with just a touch of cinnamon, it makes gingerbread. Um, also, if you have brown and you have like cocoa powder, you can make hot chocolate scented. And that would be a really fun sensory activity with like some cotton balls or if you want to give them marshmallows that would be fun um, yeah I could go on for days I really could um, I've been doing homemade play-doh for so long that um you know I like to play with the colors and the smells and stuff like that I think I enjoy it a little bit more than they do they enjoy the after effect I enjoy the during but whatever <laughs> anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this idea if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video bye everybody bye, bye.